this card. I activate this. Well, I activate this. And I activate your mama. Then I activate... What? You heard me, Kaiba. Your mama. I activated her. <laughs> yes, you can stop searching, Kaiba. After all these years, it turns out I'm your daddy. <laughs> that does it, Moto. You've stalled for too long. Now allow me to be the first one to introduce you to my very own Egyptian god- Too late, I'm summoning mine. What? No, that's not fair. You can't possibly be about to summon your god card before mine. Bitch, I might be. Behold, I give you Slifer, the executive producer, in all his executive Glory. I hope you believe in God, Kaiba, because he's about to kick you in the tushy. I don't think so. Time to find out which of our God cards is truly the strongest. I summon the all-powerful Obelisk, the Tormentor. Oh, my various gods. I hope you enjoyed being called King of Games, Yugi, because you're about to become the Duke of Dorks. This is the moment of truth, Yugi. Now go, Obelisk! Attack Yugi directly! Not so fast, Kaiba! Go, Obelisk! Attack Yugi! No, I mean, hold on a second. Oh, right. Yeah, that makes way more sense. I activate Card of Sanctity, causing both our God Cards to have the same attack points, cancelling out the attack! <laughs> The battle between Kaiba and the Pharaoh is threatening to damage the very fabric of existence. If only I could be there to experience such an epic battle of wits. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! services. It's time to stop! What's going on guys? It's Tron Ninja here, coming at you with my top 5 favorite perks in Black Ops 4 Zombies. Quickly before the video begins, if you give me a like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment with some decent criticism, that would all be appreciated. Also, on the top right of the screen, I'm going to leave a card linking to all my previous Black Ops 4 zombie content. So if you could go check that out, that would all be appreciated. Also, I want to set the criteria for this list. This is perks that I have a personal favorite towards. And these are the five perks that I usually use the most inside Black Ops 4 Zombies. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. Coming in at the number five spot. Coming in at the number five spot is Bandolier Bandit. This perk allows you to carry more excess stock ammo and more ammo overall. Its modifier also allows you to regain ammo by not using your other weapon and it'll regain your stock over time. The reason why I like this one is simply because of the fact that, well, it manages to actually increase my current stock, so if I have a weapon that doesn't have a lot of ammo, this perk automatically makes it so it has a lot more ammo. And generally, this is the other reason why I don't use Mule Kick in Black Ops 4, because, well, if this perk allows me to get more extra ammo, why would I ever use Mule Kick? It's definitely useful. Definitely also useful for Wonder Weapons. You don't have to worry about having max ammo as often. So I definitely recommend running this one at least in your loadout if you don't like running out of ammo, just like I do. Coming in at the number four spot. Coming in at the number four spot is Stone Cold Stronghold. This perk allows you to have a defensive shield as long as you're not moving around that increases armor and with the modifier, it increases damage and armor when enemies attack you inside the defensive circle. The reason why this one is good is kind of self-explanatory. It makes camping a lot easier in Black Ops 4 because you're always regenerating armor. And generally, you always have more defense. And if you run the modifier, you're increasing damage tenfold on your weapons. So definitely, if you're running a very close quarter camping strategy, definitely run this one. It's definitely useful. Coming in at the number 3 spot, 
Coming in at the number 3 spot is Deadshot Dealer. This is basically the Black Ops 4 equivalent to Double Tap. This perk allows you to auto lock onto any zombie's head with any normal weapon that is not a wonder weapon. Its modifier also increases damage when you get a headshot streak, which means that as long as you keep headshotting the zombies, you will increase your damage tenfold. The reason why this perk is the best is because headshots are absolutely king in Black Ops 4, and the more you can do headshots to your enemy, the more likely you are to kill them faster. And the other reason is because this one was the one that helped me get to Dark Matter. This is definitely the most useful for that, so if you're going for Dark Matter, definitely use this perk 100% of the time. It is definitely a lifesaver. Coming in at the number 2 spot... Coming in at the number 2 spot is Stamina. This one's pretty self-explanatory. It increases your sprint speed by tenfold, it also allows you to sprint for longer, and with the modifier you're allowed to sprint unlimitedly. The reason why this one is good is kind of self-explanatory once again. The movement in Black Ops 4 is extremely slow, and some of the maps are extremely big. So having the ability to not only sprint faster, but with its modifier unlimitedly sprint, it means that you can get your setup done and run around the map doing tasks a lot more quicker. Also, because of the unlimited sprint thing, you're also allowed to shoot weapons similar to Gunho perk. This is also helpful for getting out of sticky situations. This is definitely one of my go-to perks because I simply cannot stand running slow around the map if I'm doing a training strategy and such. And finally, coming in at the number one spot... And finally, at the number one spot is Victorious Tortoise. This perk allows you to have a defensive zone around the entire player as long as you're holding out your shield. This one is simply the perfect one for training and just doing general tasks around the map because you never have to actually worry about taking damage from zombies or other types of enemies at all. Also because of that, if you combine it with the unlimited sprint of stamina up, you can also shoot the weapon of the shield and still run around with the invulnerability of Victorious Taurus. It is simply one of my favorite perks because it allows me to basically move around the map without having to worry about being damaged. I could have put Dying Wish here, but generally speaking, J Victorious Taurus is just better because it's a universal perk that will always stay with you no matter what as long as you have a shield, where Dying Wish is a cooldown perk. So this one is easily the best perk in the entire game because you're so invulnerable as long as you have a shield. Anyways guys, that's going to be it for the top 5 favorite perks that I have in Black Ops 4 Zombies. What do you guys think? Leave me a like, give me a subscribe, ring the bell, all that other stuff, that'd be great. Also remember to check the top right of the screen at the start of the video so you don't miss that card that shows all my previous Black Ops 4 Zombies content. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.